Want to take to the skies in a plane that you've designed and built yourself? You've got a long climb ahead of you, but some inexpensive tools and a supportive community of like-minded pilots will help you on your way. To test how well your ideas will work in practice, buy a copy of X-Plane, a program that lets you design a plane and then fly it over realistic landscapes. To configure actual parts and solicit advice on how to put them together, crack open Martin Holman's book, Modern Aircraft Design. Holman also offers design classes at fly-ins and structural consulting for intrepid airplane home builders. People who build planes of their own design tend to be retired folks with a lot of energy. It's going to take at least two years of full-time work, including weekends. Cross-Country Long Easy Bert Rutan wasn't the first to build and fly a pusher-type airplane with the tail in the front, but he did solve the inherent weaknesses in the concept flaws that had bedeviled the similar World War II-era Curtis XP-55 Ascender fighter plane. Rutan's strength as a designer has always been to find innovative ways to successfully achieve a performance objective or limitation. Designed around a Lycoming O235 engine, the Long Easy not only had a longer, sleeker fuselage, but a larger main wing with a less sweep angle. The wing root strikes were bigger, giving more space for fuel and baggage, and the cockpit was wider. With 52 gallons of fuel, the Long Easy could stay aloft for as much as 10 hours. The Long Easy uses Rutan's moldless foam core construction method, a brilliant, simple way to optimize shape by cutting or hot wiring out of a profile of blocks of high density polyfoam, sanding it to exact dimensions, and laying on fiberglass and epoxy over the foam, as is done with surfboards. The result is a light, sleek airframe giving very efficient aerodynamics. Daedalus this particular aircraft relies on an important piece to get off the ground and soaring, people. One can see what appears to be someone pedaling to keep the aircraft afloat inside the cockpit. According to NASA's website, the Daedalus aircraft, as it is called in reference to the Greek myth, was the creation of students, former students, and faculty from MIT. Here, it's flying in Edwards, California, where the NASA Dryden Flight Research Center resides. The design and engineering behind this aircraft have to be perfect in order to fly plus the pilot has to be somewhat in shape to keep it airborne. Silver Subsonics Thanks to airplane kits, customers have the power to fly in their own backyard. Reg Greenberg managed to assemble his Subsonics jet in his own garage. Although he had a little help putting the plane together, he's had his share of flying experience. I hold commercial glider, helicopter, and single-engine land licenses, accumulating more than 4,500 hours in numerous aircrafts, said Greenberg, as per Sonics. Cricket. Onlookers may be quick to write off small airplanes like this one. Not only is it capable of actually flying though, but also goes at incredible speeds. The airplane dubbed Cricket is able to go up to about 93 miles per hour. It's impressive considering someone made the aircraft at home. The plane is so compact that it can only fit the pilot alone. Today, mankind is so advanced that even regular citizens can make a vehicle in their garage capable of flight. It isn't hard to imagine people getting around in their own personal planes in the future. Yellow Subsonix The Subsonix not only looks like a competent aircraft, but its yellow paint job and stylish frame turns heads. John Monnet designs planes and caters to those who want performance in a plane without breaking the bank. As a result of his creation seen here, he planned to make it into a home-built kit that anyone can buy and assemble at home. It's admirable when others want to share their creations with others instead of keeping it stowed away from the public. Monnet is the one in the yellow shirt standing outside the plane talking to its pilot. Daily Commuter Many who commute in their automobiles to work every day experience traffic. One can't help but imagine going to work in a plane, flying over all the backed up highways below. Frantisek Hadrava built his own plane and flies it to work every day according to Travel and Leisure. Here he's pictured soaring in the friendly skies. His plane even takes up four parking slots in the lot where he works. Not everyone can make a plane, especially one that's fully functional. Hadrava seems to be reaping the benefits of his venture though, which the same source notes cost him a little more than $4,000 to accomplish. Terrafugia TFX Many are on the lookout for a flying car in the making called the Terrafugia TFX. The company Terrafugia is already working on it. Although they have a car already made that's on the road today, its wings don't actually work yet. Due to all that's involved in the Terrafugia's end to create a practical and functioning flying car, they start at $200,000. For now, these privately made vehicles remain on the roads until they can perfect the technology more. 
It's daring to attempt flying cars this day and age, especially without a major automaker working on it. Fliver It's hard to believe Ford had long ago envisioned making small personal planes like this one. Dubbed the Fliver notes that Ford wanted to make light planes like this one available to the everyday man. Although a major automaker commissioned the Fliver's construction, it was essentially made in a museum. According to Air and Space magazine, Otto Koppen designed it in the Ford Museum as a side project. While the plane did end up getting off the ground, it ultimately led to a calamitous accident. After that fateful day, the project ended, and the Fliver was no more. Mark Stull Home-built airplane pilots are motivated by more than aerodynamics. Mark Stull built Lucky Stars with a 4.5-foot diameter ring tail. It took some clever engineering and some hair-raising test flights to make it work. Stull added a hydraulic damper to ensure the tail didn't swing too far to the side, and balanced the tail by adding weights to the ring. He then moved the seat forward to maintain the craft's center of gravity. Capybara The Capybara is a DIY aerial wonder that's capable of actual flight. Modeled after a cargo plane, there are even fine details added, including a gate that opens out the back. The Capybara had a successful test flight and managed to fly high with a literal sunset behind it. Prying open the boards and materials used to construct it reveals a hodgepodge of electrical wires and components. It takes an engineering mindset to put something like this together, along with dedication. We can imagine releasing some parachuting army soldiers from the back of the plane while the ride is airborne. Air Trike It may not look like the most secure aerial vehicle around, but it's able to lift off the ground and get up high. What makes them so appealing is that it's possible to assemble one at home. The materials are cheap and easy to find. More importantly, the same source confirms they're safe and easy to take care of over time. What gives them power are light engines that are able to put out 20 horsepower. While that may not translate to much on the road, it's enough to get an air trike off the ground. Chris Christensen Self-taught 31-year-old amateur builder Chris Christensen designed and flew his third home-built airplane, the High Wing Saver, in just 15 months. That's especially impressive considering that Christensen designs with pencil and paper. Yet the Saver, which is intended as a cross-country flying machine, looks very much like a professionally built airplane. A good deal, in fact, like Cessna's new entry in the light sport aircraft market, the Skycatcher. Except that Saver can go nearly 200 miles per hour, 65 miles per hour faster than Cessna's plane. We hope you liked the video and we want to know which was your favorite. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and the bell down below if you want to make sure you never miss out on important new information like this.